In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some of the attributes and the uses of the MIB point light. So the MIB point light is a metal ray light type that can be connected to almost any type of a Maya light. So in this case, we can start with something like a simple area light. And you'll notice that whenever we hit render, that the image that we get back corresponds to the light distribution that we would get with an area light. So you can see that this area light is emitting light in pretty much a 180 degree angle. Anything on this side of the light gets illuminated. Anything on the back side is really not receiving any kind of direct light. What we do see though is the light that's uh, received from final gather. Now what we can do is override this with a metal ray light. Now this is sometimes required for situations where we have uh, metal ray reflections or refractions. It's sometimes essential to use a metal ray light in order to get proper shadow interactions with those types of materials. So well, all we have to do is take our Maya light, open up the attributes, take a look inside the metal ray area, and all the way down toward the bottom, we can plug in our metal ray light shader. So all we have to do is click on this and now connect the appropriate light. In this case, we use the metal ray point. And now, what you should see is if I save this image for comparison and re-render, you'll see that we're now completely disregarding the light distribution of the area light and now we're relying completely on this metal ray point light for our light setup if you compare what we had before to what we have now. You'll also notice that whenever we drop in a metal ray light that we all automatically will get these uh, shadow types of effects. So let's take a look at some of the basic attributes found with this metal ray point light. First we have the color which in the strictest sense is just responsible for controlling the color of the light that is going to be emitted from this light source. You can see now instead of the white light we get something a little bit more on the blue side. Now below that we have the shadow factor. Now this is controlling the intensity or the opacity of our shadowing effects. So right now with this set all the way to zero we get shadows that are 100 percent black unless they are being colored by some kind of indirect source or some kind of a additional direct source. So if we only were using this single light source we would see just black shadows. Now what we can do is if we wanted these to be a little bit lighter we can start to increase the factor which will sort of create the effect of having these shadows be a little bit more transparent. And you can see as a result our shadows are now much much lighter compared to what they were before. Now just below this we have the attenuation. Now this is one of the real benefits of using metal ray light is the fact that you have a very high level of control over the start and stopping point of the light fall off. So right now the light will travel out to a distance of about 100 units and by that point the light intensity should die off to the point where there's no more direct light at that point. Now we can start to choke this back by starting to increase this stopping value and now you can see that this light illuminates a much smaller area before the overall lighting intensity completely dies off. Now in our case we are still getting a little bit of additional illumination from the final gathering effect. So one of the benefits of connecting this actual point light to something like an area light is the fact that we can still utilize some of the area light shadowing effects if we still want to get some of these nice soft shadows. So all we would need to do is go back to the area light and take a look inside the area light pull down menu and we'll tell it to use the light shape. And you can see how that will allow us to use the shape of the area light and start to get some of these really nice soft diffuse shadows but we're still using the overall light distribution pattern of the point light. So that's a look at how we can connect and utilize this MIB point light metal ray light.